we will discuss some numerical problems that are coming in uh, this plane wave at normal and oblique incidence. So let's start with the problem. So question is, a wave is incident at an angle 40 degree from air into glass. Find the angle of transmission. Okay, so first uh, let's not the main data that's already given in the question. That this incident, a wave is incident at an angle 40 degree from air to glass. So you have medium 1. Medium 1 is air and medium 2 is glass. Okay. And here it is mu naught and epsilon naught. It is free space. And here it is epsilon r is equal to 6. That's why epsilon 2 is 6 epsilon naught. So epsilon r relative permittivity is 6. And when not specified, you can take mu r as 1. We can assume that it is a non-magnetic area. And what is the equation for angle of transmission? You have the Snell slope. Okay. Snell's law states that n1 sin theta i is equal to n2 sin theta t. So, this is the equation. So, for that, what do you need? Theta i, it is given in question. It is instant at an angle 40 degrees. So, theta i is equal to 40. Then, about what is the equation for refractive index n? n is equal to c square root of mu epsilon. Okay. So, a simpler method is you can take the ratio n1 by n2 is equal to sin theta t divided by sin theta i. We are taking it as ratio because there are many common terms. So n1 by n2 will be n1 by n2 will be equal to square root of mu naught epsilon naught because it is free space divided by square root of mu naught epsilon naught into 6. Okay, so this will be 1 by root 6. So we'll get like this. So for this for the simplification, we take it as a ratio instead of substituting the value for epsilon naught, mu naught, etc. So here you get 1 by root 6 is equal to sine theta t divided by sine 40. Theta i it's given as 40. And here you get sin theta t as sin 40 degree divided by root 6. And when you take scientific calculator, there is option for uh, taking degree and radian. So when you try to find out sin 40, make sure that the mode is in degree. It will be shown as d. So if degree mode is there, there will be a d. And only in degree mode, you have to calculate sin and sin inverse. Uh, if you want uh, if you want the answer in degree or if you are giving the value in degree, it should be in degree mode in case of calculator. You should do it yourself and uh, you should learn how to use all these things in calculator, in scientific calculator. So, sin 40 divided by root 6, the value you will be getting will be 0.262. So, theta t will be sin inverse 0.262. 0.262. So, if it is in degree mode, you will be getting the result as 15.18 degree. So, this is the answer. Let's move on to next problem. Calculate the Brewster's angle for quartz with dielectric constant of 2.3. So, here they are assuming nothing else is specified. So, we assume in practical case it is a non-magnetic medium. So, assuming that there is, uh, it's a non-magnetic medium and mu r is taken as 1. And epsilon r, related to permittivity, this is dielectric constant. This value is 2.3. This is relative permittivity and it's also called dielectric constant. Okay. Relative permittivity. Relative permittivity or dielectric constant. So, that is epsilon r, it is given as 2.3. And you have to find the Brewster's angle. And you know that in perpendicular polarization, 
perpendicular polarization we know that if it's a non magnetic medium boosters angle is not defined because sign is not coming in the range of minus 1 to plus 1 you might be remembering the derivation or you can go through it so this is not existing so we assume parallel polarization and the equation for brewster's angle in parallel polarization that is tan theta b parallel is equal to square root of epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 1 so epsilon 2 by epsilon 1 so tan theta b is equal to square root of uh, for quads with a direct constant. Okay, so it will be 2.3 divided by 1. The square root of 2.3, 1.516. You get like this. And theta b will be tan inverse 1.516. 1.516, it will be. 56.599 degree. The answer you have to calculate with calculator, scientific calculator, and check this degree mode, radian mode, etc. Okay. The next question Consider a plane wave interface Z is equal to 0 between free space and glass, and electric field is given. You are asked to find out reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient. So, First, you check what is the incidence. It is normal incidence. Okay. Normal incidence means, recollect the equations. Reflection coefficient is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1. And transmission coefficient will be equal to 2 eta 2 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1. You can also calculate uh, transmission coefficient as 1 plus reflection coefficient. So, what you need is uh, just eta 2 and eta 1 because you are asked to find out only reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient. When this is asked first, check if it is normal incidence or oblique incidence. Here it is normal incidence. So, just have to calculate eta 2 and eta 1. And uh, what about eta 1? It is free space. So, eta 1 will be equal to Free space that is 125. And what about eta 2? Eta 2 means eta naught square root of mu r by epsilon r. That will be eta naught into 1 by 4. It will be eta naught by 2. It will be 65. Okay. So you got the equation for eta 1 and eta 2. Next is reflection coefficient. You can directly substitute. It will be. Uh, eta 2, 65 minus 125 divided by 65 plus 125. It will be minus 1 by 3. But you get my, and this uh, negative sign is the, it is important. So you have to write this minus 1 by 3 reflection coefficient. And tau, either you can calculate like 2 eta 2. Divided by eta 1 plus eta 2. What you will be getting? It will be 125 divided by 185. And if you get like this. 2 into 65 divided by 65 plus 125. That you will be getting 2 by 3. Or one another method is 2 is 1 plus reflection coefficient. That will be 1. It's Here we take the value not the magnitude. So 1 plus minus 1 by 3. It is 1 minus 1 by 3. You will be getting 2 by 3. So in both ways you are getting the answer. So, either you can take this equation or you can take this equation. Okay. So, this is how you calculate. Next problem. You are asked to calculate angle of transmission, reflection coefficient, etc. But here you can see that it is oblique incidence. Okay. Oblique incidence means you have a set of equations. So, for anyways, what you need is, uh, first we will consider parallel polarization. Parallel polarization, the equation for reflection coefficient is eta 2 cos theta t minus eta 1 cos theta i divided by eta 2 cos theta t plus eta 1 cos theta i. 
this is the equation for reflection coefficient in parallel polarization. And the next equation you know is 1 plus reflection coefficient is equal to transmission coefficient into cos theta t by cos theta i. Okay, so you can get transmission coefficient from this equation 1 plus reflection coefficient into cos theta i divided by cos theta t. So these two equations you can use. Okay, so first thing is eta 1, 1 is free space, so eta 1 is 125, eta 2 that is equal to other with it's given 125 square root of mu r by epsilon r that is equal to 125 into 1 by 4 is equal to 65. Again you have got theta 2 as 65. Then theta i is given. So cos theta i is equal to cos 30. Cos 30 will be you can calculate that uh, cos theta i it will be 0.866. So this is another value you need. Now you have one more thing to calculate that is theta t. Because in all the equation you have cos theta t so you have to calculate theta t. And what is the method for calculating theta t? It is only Snell's law. Only Snell's law can be utilized to calculate theta t. So it will be n1 sin theta i is equal to n2 sin theta t. So n1 by n2 is equal to sin theta t divided by sin theta i. And this n1 by n2 is equal to square root of, it will be c square root of mu r epsilon r divided by c square root of mu r2 epsilon r2. Because in the square root of mu naught epsilon is not is there. Okay, this is a complete equation but all these will get cancelled. And you will be getting in terms of relative perpendicular. You know. So in case of 1 can be mu r1 epsilon r1 everything is 1. And here in denominator you can write, take it as square root of 4. Okay. It will be 1 by 2. So sin theta t is equal to 1 by 2 sin theta i. So sin 30 is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 by 2, 1 by 4 or, or 0.25. And theta t sin inverse 0.25, you will be getting 14.48 degree. You will be getting 14.48 degree. So hope it's clear. So we got theta t as 14.48 degree and theta is given as 30 degree okay then we got eta 2 as 60 pi eta 1 as 120 pi all these we calculated in next you can directly go for calculating reflection coefficient in case of parallel polarization equations are eta 2 cos theta t Minus eta 1 cos theta i divided by eta 2 cos theta t plus eta 1 cos theta i. This is how you calculate the reflection version for parallel polarization. You know eta 1, eta 2 cos theta i and cos theta t. On direct substitution, you will be getting the answer. Okay. So, in this case, you get it as minus 0.283. This you get. And you calculate transmission coefficient corresponding to uh, reflection coefficient. One is directly substitute. That is 2 eta 2, uh, the equation. 2 eta 2 cos theta i divided by denominator say eta 2 cos theta t plus eta 1 cos theta i. Again, you can substitute all the values you already know. This is one method and second method is connecting the two equations. 1 plus reflection coefficient is equal to transmission coefficient into cos theta t divided by cos theta i. This is applicable only in case of parallel polarization. Okay. So, to parallel will be 1 plus reflection coefficient into cos theta i by cos theta t. 
again you can substitute and here it will be 1 minus 0.283 and it's not magnitude the value is taken. 1 minus 0.283 into cos 30 divided by cos 14.48. Uh, you get the value as 0 0.6415. 0 0.6415. And all these are ratios and they are not having any unit. So this, this is how you get the equation for reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient. And similarly, you can calculate the values for perpendicular polarization. The corresponding uh, equations, uh, you, you can directly substitute and values will be same.